How you doing, guys? <clears throat> it is uh, Tuesday morning, January the 12th, I believe. <clears throat> it has gotten cold. Well, cold to us here in Louisiana. This morning, I've got a couple things I got to go do. I've got a man with a heat pump that called last late last night and said that the whole outdoor unit was frozen. Uh, so it sounds like we got a defrost issue there. I told him to turn it to turn his thermostat on emergency heat and run his uh, heat strips until I could get there this morning. Okay, we got a pretty good helicopter here, guys. So I'm gonna try to film what I can. I've already made the diagnosis and picked up the parts. So we have a train XR15. Four TWR 50, 42, three and a half ton. It's gone now, but uh, the fan blade is bent up and ruined. It's bent here on the tip. And then this one has you can, you can't see it on camera but it's got a couple good bends in it and it's because the unit <clears throat> wasn't defrosting when i was here earlier the coil right here was full of ice like not frost i'm talking about ice so that fan blade was hitting the ice and that's what ruined it so we have a blade and a defrost board I tried to force defrost. It would not go into defrost. I'm going to pull this top off, flip it over, change the blade, and then change the defrost board.
Got the old defrost board off. Train defrost boards are very simple. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. You got your ambient sensor and your defrost thermostat and then your fan motor wires. Be very careful when you use a drill with these boards. New defrost boards on. I'm gonna go turn the system on now. Hopefully, you guys were able to see that. I got the new defrost board on that quick. Uh, we have our LED blinking. I'm gonna go turn the system on. I can't promise I'll be able to film that because he's probably gonna come out here with me. Okay, guys, we're backing away from here. I'm sorry I couldn't get you guys before and after of the train running. He has a Linux system also right here on this side of the house. That is two years, the Linux is two years old. He's done replaced the evaporator coil once. He had a pinhole refrigerant leak fixed and he's had three X13 modules put on it. Not motors, just the modules. And the unit's only two years old. It was just installed two years ago. I was referred to this customer through uh, the Nextdoor app. I don't know if any of you are familiar with that. And 
Come to find out, me and this man are from the same small little Cajun town that I'm originally from. That's why he called me. Because when, when I got recommended and he saw my last name, he knew where I was from because the Israel last name only comes from that little small Cajun town. So when I got to his house to and introduced myself, he said, you, he, he asked me where I was from. And when I told him the name of the town, he said, yep, I knew it. Uh, he said, I knew you had to be from there. So, um, anyway, uh, so we, we hit it off right away. Anyway, the train unit, y'all, when I first, when we first fired it up and he wanted me to see the noise, that blade was so bent and out of balance. I know it didn't look that bad, but it had a couple good bends on it. But what's really important is it got knocked out of balance. Man, it looked like that the fan was literally gonna fly out of the unit and take off like a helicopter. But after I put the new blade on, man, she was just as smooth as could be. And now when I go to tip between test and force defrost, she defrosts right away. So we have the issues fixed. And uh, he told me next time the Linux fails, um, he doesn't care how much of a minor failure it is. Uh, I told him that I sell Rude. He said he had Rude before the train. And he said it was a great unit. He never had any issues with it. He just upgraded because it was old. And he likes the fact that I sell Rude. And he said next time the Linux breaks, he's not calling to get it fixed he's gonna call me to come change it out inside and out he's because yeah they're under warranty but they're charging him hundreds and hundreds of dollars to do these repairs and he's tired of it with a two-year-old unit and I can't say that I blame him so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video I got the best footage I could with him he was a little bit of a helicopter but I didn't mind it because he was we hit it off and he was a fun guy to talk to very nice people got to meet his wife very nice people they're from the little town where i'm originally from and that little town is very well known for your good cajun people and just good people all around so uh we'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching